Okie dokie. So the last time we talked about achievement scanners, we had a OCR method that took about five minutes to go through your game. It worked by taking screenshots of your achievements and then transferring that into a JSON file. Well, today I'm here to share with you guys our new method, which takes that five minutes and brings it down to about three seconds. Yep, three seconds. So the way that this new method works is that it captures a packet with all of your achievement data that gets sent to the server just as you log into the game. It's instantaneous and it's got no hooks in the game, so it's perfectly safe. It captures not only your achievement data, but all of your books and collectible data as well, which means that once our version two StarDB website goes live, you'll be able to import all of that information into our interactive bookshelf. Anyway, the instructions will also be pinned down in the comments below for those who prefer to go through it that way. And for those of you who prefer a visual guide, let's get started. All right, so first up, we need to download and install the program NPCAP. So this is a packet capture library for Windows, and this is what we'll be using to capture that information. When you're installing NPCAP, make sure you tick the box that says install in WinPCAP API compatibility mode, as sometimes this is unticked by default. And then the next step, you wanna download the StarDB exporter from the link below, but don't open it yet. First, open up Honkai Star Rail, and then go through the first screen. You want to make sure that you're sitting on this screen right here where the train is preparing to enter the hyperspeed mode. Once it's on this screen, this is when you need to open up the StarDB exporter. Once you open it, give it a couple of seconds so that you get the message that says all ready to signify that it's ready to capture the packet. Now you can head back on over to Honkai Star Rail and then enter the game. As the train is flying through space and going through the load screen, that packet should be captured by our software. If you then alt tab back over to the StarDB exporter, you should see a message that says export copy to clipboard successful. So now all of that information is now saved to your clipboard. So head on over to the StarDB importer page that's linked down below in the instructions. Once you're in there, make sure that you're logged into your StarDB account first, and then just click on the box and press Control V to paste all your achievement data in. Click on import when you're ready and you're done. So how good is that? With this method being so fast, we've now opened up a bunch of new possibilities. The achievement capturing method is no longer just for onboarding new achievement hunters. It's gonna be useful for every single achievement hunter out there. Now when a new version of the game drops, you can just go through and grind out your achievements throughout the day without ever worrying about manually marking your achievements off. Then when you're done for the day, you can just use the packet sniffer and update your day's work instantly. So this is one of the many useful tools that the team over at StarDB are creating for the achievement hunting community. And I'm looking forward to sharing more with you guys in the near future. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions.